All right, guys. So we're going to be doing the same thing as we did in the last video. So let's go to modify chamfer, and I want to chamfer this edge here. Let's okay. Let's repeat that function. And let's do it here. And it's the reason why we don't do them at the same time because we want different sizes in the chamfer. So if you ever wonder why I, I, I exit and redo it, that's why. And I also want to dial this back a bit more because it's more of an inset. So we'll just press pull this. See, in this circumstance, we can't copy this and then paste it. So what you want to do is select that surface and go to create sketch, finish sketch. So we have the same profile. Now we can just press pull this and get a deeper cut. There you go. That's just one way to do it. Now let's create a sketch here. And what I want to do is use our line tool and add some more uh, micro detail inside of this surface. And this is literally just a replication of what we did the last video. We're just adding more details. Because I didn't want to make that video like 20 minutes long when we can just divide it into two. So let's just uh, keep looking at this reference. And let's go to uh, environment gray. Let's make this a bit easier to see. And it's a bit more interesting to look at this way anyway. Now let's select this area here and go to create sketch. And I'm going to use the two point rectangle on this one and just draw a rectangular piece here in the middle. That's good. Now we can right click hit OK and we'll double click this and go to move so we can rotate this. We'll like the pivot to be in the center so we can, we won't have to offset this at all. We'll just rotate this directly in the center. Said OK and we can press pull this inwards to get a deeper cut to make it look like it's actually been manufactured. And we'll just repeat that same thing here. So select that surface, create sketch, use the two point rectangle and create the rectangle in the middle again. And it doesn't matter if it exceeds beyond the circle because once we rotate it from the center point here on the pivot, uh, we're not going to lose anything. And we only need the internal section anyway, so we can just press pull this inwards. And we reference that line so we know how far to go on the cut. Let's create a sketch on this. We'll use our uh, line tool to match this section. Let's use the circle, diameter circle here. Oh, and then we'll switch back to the line tool to actually match the, ref the rest of this. And there's a couple things that I don't really agree with on this concept. So I will be uh, veering off and adding some more intricacy to it because it looks kind of plain to me. And some of the functionality doesn't look like it actually makes sense. So we will be at some point um, changing the look of this original piece. I'm actually enjoying this. This is overall a great weapon and it's a good exercise because like you guys saw from the first video we start off with just a block literally for the main body and then we started to offset and then uh, now we're actually seeing this uh, piece of work come to life and I worked in the gaming field so it's like uh, using CAD I learned to appreciate it so much more and value it because it's quicker, but you have to think differently than you would doing standard modeling. And let's hit, I have to go to fillet mode, and we're just going to round these off. I, I literally enjoy modeling from concept and not following uh, a rubric or, uh, you know, measurements. It's so much more freedom, and when you do have the measurements that you need, you know how to make it so much easier. I'm just press pulling this to offset this to give it some more manufactured detail. And I'll just create another sketch here. And I'll use this little two point rectangle to uh, press pull this shape out of this uh, cylindrical shape. And we're going to join those. And let's uh, hit F to fill it these uh, corners here. That looks good. I want to right click and go up and I want to add a fillet around uh, this two corners here and really I'm just eyeballing this and this is that's the best part about this like there are no standard rules 
because there's so many things you can do inside of Fusion to get the same results. And I'm just going to fillet this area here. That looks good. And we'll add one more fillet here. Round that off. Because nothing in real life is 100% sharp. So we just adding some of these little pieces. And these are little things that make the project. And I'm going to duplicate this body. Control C, Control V, and I'm just going to slide this over here and bring it down as well to match the reference. And I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to duplicate this and slide this one over here. And I'm going to actually veer a little bit off from the reference. I don't want it to be exactly. So I'll slide it back a bit because I will be uh, drafting this piece later to make it closed because the concept didn't really emphasize on it so I, I'm going to capitalize on it myself and uh, change this up. So let's go to modify and we'll do a draft and I'm going to select this surface here then the bottom surface and I'm going to make this smaller so let's just angle this downwards and this makes a lot more sense versus the other way it was just incomplete and that's the beauty of knowing how to use CAD so you can manipul manipulate things as you see fit. And I'm going to create a sketch on this surface and I'm going to use the two point rectangle to get this little small square shape here. And I'm just going to press pull this inwards. Get a nice little cut. I'm going to select this surface on this little uh, knob here or whatever you call it. And we're going to use the line tool to, or I'll just, uh, I'll offset this actually and then I'll go to the line tool so what that uh, did it gave me some constraint so I won't go outside this little perimeter now I can press pull this inner profile get a nice little cutout shape now let's go to create pipe and let's select this edge here this little ring and we'll just cut this out and lastly before we take off we're just gonna right click on the body and we're just gonna move this forward 